A long time ago, I made a video about Windows 95 in 2022, and my experience was pretty terrible. A lot of programs crashed, some more famously than others, and it was very laggy, and it didn't even properly shut down. I referred to the OS as overrated, but perhaps that was... maybe... maybe I was wrong. Well, I'm going to give Windows 95 a second chance. Unlike the previous Windows 95 and 2022, I'm going to be using VirtualBox this time because that is going to lead for a much better experience. Only problem is that I needed to patch the CPU, otherwise Windows 95 will just not boot. And well, hey, looks like we're already at the desktop. Uh, yeah. Why didn't I make some funny registry joke here? I don't know why. What is that? Cool. It's been a few years, of so yeah. This has a bit better performance than the uh, emulator I was using, and by a long shot too. Look at the emulator's uh, specs. It's much better site for emulating than three point one. So let's start with what you're perhaps most curious about. Oh, so now calculator works? Well, cool. Maybe I should have just waited a few years. <laughs> Anyway, a uh, calculator is pretty self-explanatory. It's a calculator. It's got scientific stuff and whatnot. I've tested it off camera, but yeah. That is 2026 in normal decimal. Oh. Yep, it does work. Next thing I've got to cover would be paint, because that also had problems, just like literally everything else in the original Tai Tai 2 video. So, well, yeah, let's try MS Paint. We got all these view options, and you know what? Normally, I have historically done a lot of, like, mountain drawings, but this time, I'm going to do a drawing of some pyramids, because, well, why not? I mean, not real great at uh, using MS Paint, but, well, it is what it is. Oh, and also, I'm much better at drawing on actual paper, by the way. Wait, that's all I want! Darn it! Uh, and ta-da! I'm no artist, especially when it comes to MS Paint, but I think I did a pretty good job. Luckily, we can save this. Well, let's save this to the disc like I probably already did, and well, yeah. Now it's WordPad time. Also, uh, if you look real quickly, you may, you'll probably miss it, but in that splash screen, it says something called Microsoft Foundation Classes version 3.2, which I don't know what that is. That seems interesting. Anyway, let's get to the word pad. Don't even need to, you know. Yeah, um, much faster than previous. And much more stable than 2022. Okay, uh, honestly, that, this is one of the oldest jokes in the book, and honestly, I think for once you probably deserve to a little bit of a break from the calculator clip from that pretty terrible video, honestly. At least in a retrospective, it's rather sloppy. Though I may be using a different software, although I'm using different software, so that is definitely a factor. No, don't usually show this. That's right, Windows 95 had a phone dialer. When's the last time you th would expect that to be in the accessories? I can't use it because, well, you know, it's on a PC and I don't have a modem. 
I mean, they still make modems, but they still make modems, but like, you know. Ah! Save. And yeah, by the way, this is primitive. This is pretty primitive version of Windows. Which is why I have to make a folder on the desktop called Files. Well, that's all the accessories. Well, still got. To... Now it's time to go to the sound recorder, which uh, I can't probably use them since uh, my microphone actually didn't connect, unlike in the Wednesday Part One video, because well. VirtualBox and VMware are a little different, okay? Don't think this works now, does it? We just established that. Anyway, we have effects, which uh, was in the menu in that blurred area from my explanation. Uh, edit and file. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say here. It was also at this point in the video which I realized that the... Uh, System sounds were not playing, even though the startup sound played. Uh, we'll get into that uh, in a second. And we're missing all the sound now. Yeah, uh, the sound normally plays there. Wait a minute. Sound is. It was at this point that I had thought that restarting the system would fix this, but this. Startup sound played, and yet I also got no other system sounds. As you will see, the only sound in the media folder is the startup sound. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but I don't know. Probably like maybe the uh, system sounds didn't get installed. I don't know. Well, anyway, we've got this. It's the only thing I have, as you previously just saw. Anyway, it's time to play some games. What do we have? Oh, we have Solitaire. Okay. Anyway, Solitaire is a fairly simple, straightforward game. You just room cards, uh, try to get them all into four stacks of the same shape, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah. We also have Minesweeper, in which I opted to... Uh, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start, which didn't help all too much at first because of the fact that it took out most of the display, but after doing a few modifications, I was able to beat the game pretty quickly. There you go. Uh, yeah, of course I could. Got the, we got a perfect run and just, just beat the game in a second. Though I can't usually do that normally. Anyway, uh, looking in the facts directory allows us to uh, see the uh, facts cover page editor. Uh, this probably would have been used for putting cover pages on fax documents, but I do not have a fax machine. And now we've got some system tools. Such as this historical gremlin, uh, the resource meter. Okay, honestly, it's not running, it's, it's not lighting in the system here, so well, that's why I said historical gremlin. AMC Gremlin? Okay, uh, never mind. Let's just describe that. <laughs> Stupid guard jerk in there. Anyway. Here we've got drive space. If it will load. Mm. Oh yeah, it will load. It's technically all it does. In other terms, all it really does is just tell you, uh, the uh, amount of space you have open on your, in, on your drives, and I think it has some compression tools if I'm correctly, so, uh, yeah, it's a fairly simple tool. Back up. And now we get to the only part of the video in which something goes wrong, as this basically crashed Windows. Although, honestly, it's Windows 95, it, it crashed rather infrequently, uh, normally. And it was fairly stable, unless you're me uh, using it in an emulator in 2022. Disk Defragmenter, which we're not going to do because I don't need to defragment, defragment the disk. And scan disk for all of your useless error checking needs. 
AKA what shows up on startup if you don't shut down correct. Anyway, we got Microsoft Exchange, which we need to go to offline. Luckily, Microsoft left us a piece of mail. So that's very simple. Got the DOS prompt. Basically emulates MS DOS inside of a uh, Windows, which wouldn't be too hard to do. We also have Windows Explorer, which is basically for more nerdy people that want more things than the uh, My Computer and all those prompts and whatnot. I don't know why it's a prompt of options. <laughs> Well, interestingly, it stores MS Paint in uh, program files. And we also have Paintbrush in here if we want to go back. Or, and wait, this is the same thing. But still. We also have Microsoft Network, which we cannot do anything involving. We've got uh, find the thingies. Um, We can find the old, uh, we got this. Oh dear, this is taking quite a bit of time to load. Maybe because it says we've got a Pentium and that's, uh, 64, you know, but, well, it's fine. We got control panel. Don't need to do a lot of stuff in here. We have screensavers. This one probably is my favorite. It's just Starfield Simulation. You can also change the appearance, which we're not going to do. So there's other things in here like date and time. Great job at that for reminding me that it's getting close to dinner time. And uh, yeah. There's also help here. And last but not least, run, which we can use Winver on. And uh, yeah, so that is Windows 95 in 2024. I'm glad I gave this a second chance. I, I might as well consider putting this on like I mean, considering, like, error, error respective hardware, I'm putting this on there, since my 486 is not going to be a good enough experience for. More on that computer in the future, but yeah. And with that, thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!